Howdy, it's Kevin from Earth 2 Mastery, one of your top 27.265 Earth 2 YouTubers. And tonight, we try to take over the world. So grab your receipts because this video is taxing. We're going to talk about whether or not I should sell my Earth 2 properties. Okay, guys, so first things first, I've got my discount code in the description down below and probably pinned to the top comment. I appreciate it if you guys choose to use that code when you buy new tiles. It helps me get a 5% rebate back to build my Earth 2 empire and get you 5% back too, so it's a win-win situation. I also started dropping a new series that I'm doing uh, called Pixel Freaks. There's a link to my Mintable store down below. Uh, it's a horror movie inspired pixel art series, each piece one of a kind. And uh, if you want to take a look at that, I'd appreciate every view that I get on that art as well. I don't know how the algorithms work on Mintable or if they recommend stuff, but I know the algorithms here on YouTube like comments, so say howdy down below. All right, guys, I've started getting more and more questions as to whether or not I should sell my Earth 2 land. People message me and ask me if they should sell or if they should hold where I see the future of this thing going. And I thought that I made it clear that this is potentially life-changing. Now, I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell somebody whether or not they should buy or sell or hold or, or not. But I'll tell you that I'm hodling. I'm hodling. I'm hodling forever. I got them diamond hands, baby, when it comes to Earth 2 because I think it could change our lives. Now, could it be that it just goes bust? Could it be that it doesn't develop the way that it should? Yeah, sure, it could. And so if you're worried about that money, whoo, better get it out. But I'll tell Gag, you know, remember, great aunt Gertrude, I told Gag, I said, listen, unless that money's going to change your life, unless it's something that you need right now, just hodl, baby. Just hodl. That's what I'm doing. I'm hodling till the end. And I'll tell you what, I got a 45. Let's go look. Let's go look. I, I want to see what I got here. I got 619 properties. Whew, wish I had more. 20,353 tiles. I wish they were bigger plots because I'll tell you what, I think there's going to be some benefits to having bigger plots. Uh, so the ones that I bought right next to each other, I wish I'd done just a little bit bigger. Maybe uh, maybe nine or 16 tiles together instead of two or three. Uh, I still think that the giant plots are probably beneficial to have, but you know it's hard to afford that big of a plot at one time and in one spot, so I'm happy to spread it around, but instead of getting one, two, or three tiles right next to each other like I was doing early on, I wish I'd have gotten some uh, little bigger properties so that I could build at least a small building on it. So if you're listening to this, uh, you know, one tile at a time obviously is better than nothing, but if you can afford to get, um, you know, nine little squares, I like squares now, so nine or, or 16 tiles uh, right next to each other, uh, it's probably the best bet. Don't get all these angled, crazy looking tiles. But anyway, so am I going to sell my tiles? No, not unless somebody gives me some obscene amount of money for them. And then what am I going to do with that money? I'm going to turn around. I'm going to try to find uh, a bigger piece of property with it. So if somebody wants to give me, you know, a thousand dollars for one of my properties in Greece, and then I can turn around and buy a property right down the road from it. That's going to be three times as big. Yeah, by golly, I'll sell it. But I'm not going to sell just for the sake of selling. What's the point of that? The money that I have in here looks like a lot of money. Now, I'd be lucky if I took that to the marketplace. If I took that $47,000 net worth right there to the marketplace and I try to sell it, I feel like I'd be lucky if I could get $20,000 for it right now because some of my properties are very valuable. They're very big. Uh, my Knott's Berry Farm, Buena Park properties worth, who knows how much. I mean, look lately, probably $20,000 worth of that is in Buena Park. Well, I can't really sell that for $20,000 right now. So I'd be lucky if I could get half that. That's why I say I'd be lucky if I could get $20,000 out of that. Now, $20,000 seems like a lot of money, but it's not life-changing to me. It's not going to do anything to keep me from having to go to work the next day. It's not going to do anything to upgrade my lifestyle. So I'm hodling. Okay, I'm hodling. Now, if I had $2 million in there and I'm like, well, you know, if I could sell all that, maybe I could retire right now, travel the world. Yeah, but I, you know, then maybe I'll start talking about getting rid of it. You know, if my brother's cousin's niece's nephew's uh, husband's dog needed some kind of expensive surgery, you know, and I was the only one that could help out. Yeah, maybe I'd take some money out. I'm not saying that I wouldn't consider taking the money out if I needed it, but I don't need this money. I don't need it. And so I'm not selling. I'm not going anywhere. I'm waiting to see if this thing takes off. If this turns into Ready Player One, 
I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be a multi-millionaire, right? Like that's what's going to happen if this thing turns into Ready Player One, if everybody spends the majority of their time in VR on Earth 2 instead of playing other games, if, if this turns into the Facebook of VR games, we are going to possibly be rich. I don't need $20,000. First off, it's one of the things that keeps me, you know, that gives me an excuse to come back and talk about it and gives me an excuse to play the game, which I'm waiting on. And we've seen pictures. Shane was tweeting Easter eggs. Does that mean if I go around and buy tiles, I might find an Easter egg? Is there something on the Easter eggs that's important? Is the Easter egg just the resources that we can get? Who knows, man? This cryptic stuff is interesting. Are these like the keys? Somebody said, it was the, like the keys in Ready Player One or these Easter eggs. What's the Easter egg going to do for me? Do I get to take control of Earth2.io if I find all the Easter eggs? I don't know, but I get to keep coming back and speculating and I'm going to be able to spend a lot of time in the game playing the game because I can justify it because I could say I'm heavily invested and I've got a YouTube channel that allows me to go and play the game and then talk about it. So I'm being productive even though I'm really just playing. I mean, that's what I want. I want to be able to say, hey, I'm working when really I'm just playing a video game. That's like what I want to do. So I'm not getting out. I'm, I'm hoping this changes my life. I want it to change my life. I don't want $20,000. What am I going to do? I'm going to go buy a car that's going to be worth $10,000 in two years? Or am I going to sit here with my money in Earth 2 and hope that it 10Xs or 20Xs or 30Xs or that I start making $200 a day in resource generation? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't tell you what's going to happen, but I know what I'd tell Gag. I'd say, hey, Gag, is it going to change your life? Nah, then maybe you shouldn't do anything. So, you know, I mean, that's my answer. I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm hodling. Look at, I'm like, the, I'm hodling. Okay. But I'm still working on my, I'm still working on my NFTs too. Look at, I'm getting, I want to say I'm getting a little better. Maybe. I don't know. This is my I made, I took an image, I made pixel art out of it. This is my new Hockey Slasher number one inspired pixel art right there. I've got eight versions, eight different color palettes of this particular piece. This is going to be number one of 96, each one completely unique in my Pixel Freak series, which is all horror movie inspired. I used to, man, I know, you, you kids, you kids, you don't know, you don't know. My dad, my mom used to take me to Blockbuster on a Friday night. I get to pick what I wanted. What did I pick? I picked Friday the 13th. I picked uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I picked Pumpkinhead. I picked the Leprechaun, right? Man, it shaped my nightmares. <laughs> it shaped my nightmares, which kind of shaped who I am now. Uh, so anyway, I'm doing a, I, I wanted to do a Pixel series. And I was like, what? You know, I mean, you see Crypto Punks, Crypto Kitties. You see... Uh, uh, crypto jacks, whatever they are, all this pixel art. And then I saw this image and I was like, eh, maybe I could turn that into some pixel art. And I did. And I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like a 1980s Nintendo game. That's what, that's what's so cool about it. And so I was like, man, I could change the colors on this and everything. So I made eight different versions of this image, each one unique in color scheme. And then I was like, I'm going to make more. I'm going to make more. I'm going to make uh, some more horror movie inspired images, but I don't want to just make a billion of them. So I'm capping myself at 96. There's only going to be 96 versions. Um, if I do sell these, I'm going to use the money that I make from them to open up an open sea to use the, to pay the gas fees, uh, to do an open sea, um, sellers account so that I can go over there and release. I've still got this. I've got this idea. I've got an idea where I'm going to meld the physical world and the digital world. People have already started doing this. You buy a set of cards, you buy some cards from who, Panini or something, uh, Panini Press. I, I don't know. I don't follow sports, but one of these people that I know at work, he buys baseball cards and he said, I was trying to tell him about NFTs and he's like, I don't understand NFTs. And I was like, well, I don't understand any collectible really other, you know, unless somebody's really interested in the topic. But if you are interested in the topic, 
you know, what's the difference if you have a digital baseball card or a physical baseball card? It doesn't make much of a difference to me. But in this particular case, they sell a baseball card and then you have a code and you can go put it online and now you get a digital version of the baseball card. Well, I'm going about this backwards. I'm flipping the script. I'm selling, I'm going to be selling an NFT, but then when somebody buys the NFT, they'll get the physical representation of that NFT sent to them, okay? And it's gonna be 100% unique, guaranteed unique. There, there cannot be, there, it's impossible for there to be another just like it ever. The physical item is completely unique, and that means that the NFT is going to be completely unique, okay? So I've got an idea for that. I'll share it with you guys later, but for now, this is a series that I'm doing that's all digital. It's my pixel freaks, and uh, I don't know. I just wanna see how it does. I, you know, here's the thing. NFTs, I'm gonna have to do a different video. I'm gonna have to do a different video because I'm gonna get too deep into this. Uh, 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 NFTs and, and why the prices are getting driven up and everything. It's going to get too deep. It's too much for this video. So anyway, just so you guys know, Earth2.io, man, I am diamond hands. Like, look at these right here, diamond, okay? I'm not getting out. It's either going to change my life or it's going to go to zero. I'm not getting out. Okay, unless something changes, right? I mean, obviously, I can't say for I can't say for sure that nothing will ever change. You know, I, I I need a I need you know I need something badly enough that I just have to rattle every can of cash that I have in order to get the money out of me. Clearly, sure, yes, I'm going to get out at that point because you have to prioritize your life over any type of investment. But bearing any unforeseen events, I'm not leaving. Okay. All right, guys, so that's my answer. Listen, you can email me all you want and ask me if you should sell. My, my answer is always going to be, I don't know your situation and I'm not a financial advisor, so I can't tell you, but what I'm telling you is I'm not selling and neither is Gag. Neither is Great Aunt Gertrude. Gag, my, Gag, she's not, she's not selling. She's not selling, guys.